Okay, welcome to today's episode of our podcast. We have Boyd Stow, one of the co-founders of Concourse Benefits, part of our team. So Boyd's background, he's got um, expertise in revenue modeling. He spent some time at the U.S. Air Force Special Ops Division. He's also a graduate of the Charleston School of Law. So I would describe Boyd as an all-around great guy. He's passionate about everything he does. He's lively, interesting, and sometimes animated. And he's the only guy that I know that sounds like Tucker Carlson when listening to him at 1.5x speed on a podcast. Boyd, welcome to the podcast. How are you today? I'm, I'm doing great, and I'm honored that I sound like Tucker Carlson. I could do with his, uh, his position in life, but yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy listening to a whole bunch of their podcasts. And when I do, I, you know, choose 1.4 to 1.5, 1.6, depending on who it is, so I can get more information in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the purpose of our of this session uh, is so that Boyd can explain to you his journey on how he got with this team to the point where we are at with the Concourse Benefits platform as a standalone solution or as part of an entire ecosystem for associations and chambers of commerce. So Boyd, uh, take it from there and we'll have a conversation about that. Absolutely. Well, you know, it's awesome to be talking to people who are interested in the subject of chambers of commerce and trade associations and understand the real impact and value that, that they do have and certainly that they can have in our obsession, as you know, being part of the team with concourses we think they're so much more powerful than they realize. Um, and we uh, we aim to help them really um, access and leverage that power through being networked, being networked together. So a fundamental difference, just as context for anybody that's not familiar with Concourse, my guess is you're not, is the, that we don't approach uh, relationships kind of one-to-one. -one. Um, when, when you connect with us, you're actually connecting to a broader network uh, of organizations we're working with. And the idea is that, you know, we have an ecosystem of tools uh, that will allow each and every one of our clients to be able to access and leverage the buying, hiring, and advocacy power of the broader network. Uh, and Concourse Benefits is a great example um, uh, of how we do that. We also have, as you, as you know, we also have association management tools. We have, uh, you know, shop local tools. We have uh, supply chain hiring, um, and they're even working on some really powerful advocacy stuff. So uh, our approach is very different, and that really stems to your you're talking about how we got here. It stems back to the very beginning when um, I, I, as a revenue modeling consultant, I got I got uh, asked to do some consulting work, work with a company called World Insurance out of Atlanta, Georgia, and they were struggling to figure out how to sell more non-insurance benefits uh, and, and, and me trying to sort out uh, how to help them ended up um, ended up doing basically a town hall or focus group, if you will, with uh, the Chamber of Commerce, a pretty big Chamber of Commerce out of the Atlanta area and walked out of there going, what is this? I, you know, my idea of what a Chamber of Commerce was uh, and what it turned out to be were very, very different and, and suddenly became very, I think obsessed is the only word um, with finding a way to actually help them because it seemed, you know, at a glance that uh, there was a lot of people offering them advice and services and stuff, but they weren't really challenging them to realize their potential. And so we, uh, any long story short, uh, World Insurance paused that project. I, I asked them politely if I could continue moving forward with it on my own. They said yes. Uh, I took the developer from that job, who was Colin Schmidt, who's one of our partners. Uh, and, um, and we, you know, that's kind of how we ended up where we are. Six years later, we've had some amazing experiences. We've got a great relationship with the Alberta Chambers of Commerce, working on a lot of different relationships, a lot of different organizations. And, um, uh, yeah, that's the high level, I guess. So so the one constant thing when we first met, I remember to this day, I reached out because I was working on a problem on trying to solve how to help chambers of commerce locally in my community here, how to help a chamber bring more value to their members. And I came across this thing called Concourse, had no idea what it was. I didn't know you had never come across you. And I reached out. We had our, a phone conversation. I think it lasted a couple of hours. And yeah. then, like, at that moment, I knew there, I don't know how, but, you know, we will be collaborating in the future. And I'm so glad that we did have that phone conversation and, you know, navigated the journey here. Yeah. 
for anybody that that you know maybe hasn't had enough experience or you've had a lot of experiences you didn't have the right awareness it, the reality is is that you know this thing that you know and you could call it woo woo if you want it doesn't really matter but this thing called the law of attraction is a real deal when you've got people who are really passionate about something and they begin working together on that something it's almost like the universe conspires to bring them all the right things now it may not happen in the time you want it to right because we were forced to in treat, trying to create a new paradigm of operation for these chambers of commerce and trade associations, uh, you know, we we had to learn a lot, and uh, we had to get connected with a lot of resources and a lot of real great people, and we had to mature as individuals and as a business. So, but six years later, which in the scheme of things isn't much, here we are, and we've got a, a really incredible, robust platform, and yeah, all the people on the team are 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 equally passionate in their own way. Um, with the idea about the idea of, of of helping chambers of commerce and trade associations leverage their their real potential. So talk about if if I'm a chamber of commerce or I'm an association that manages business members that have employees that work for those business members. Uh, talk about the three types of offerings in platform. Number one, the offerings that are exclusive for the chamber itself or associations. Number yeah. two, the business services that are needed and required by businesses. And number three, how the, the Concourse Benefits platform is able to, quote unquote, crack the floor of value to the employees or to people in communities, which has always been uh, difficult for associations and chambers. Right. Well, so before I can really answer that question, you know, I'm going to approach everything from the perspective of a revenue modeler. And the idea with revenue modeling is, is you want to maximize demand for what it is you have or do. Number one, you want to understand what's that sweet spot, the connection between you and the market you serve. And members, people don't realize sometimes that members are the highest form of customer, the most, they're the most enviable, the most, the, or the most desirable form of customer, because here's somebody who's paying to have access for the opportunity to engage. And engagement sometimes means paying for other things, right? Paying to come to events, paying that, paying for benefits, uh, paying uh, all sorts of things. So it's a really interesting um, opportunity from my perspective, right, to say, okay, here's an organization that in many cases has been around for 50 years or longer than that. You know, a lot of the organizations we work with have been around um, and people know who they are, but they may not have ever availed, uh, they may not have ever really taken advantage of the services that organization offers. And so you have all this potential demand Right. And the idea is, well, what can we do to actually give that demand get to define the offering such that we can get more of, uh, of those people to actually engage with the organization? And when we surveyed the chamber members early on, they told us, OK, we joined for really basically a handful of reasons. OK, one of them was is we want we want exposure. We want to be exposed to the communities. More people know about us and therefore buy our products and services. That makes total sense. The other one is, is of course, they want somebody who's looking out for them and who's advancing their uh, their you know interests, okay, with local legislators and maybe on up the chain to state federal legislators. Um, and the other one, and very important, is the access to benefits. The, the, they just know, well, if I join this organization, I'm going to be joining an organization uh, with maybe 200 or 500 other people, or even more in many cases, many more in many cases. Um, and that we're going to this organization is going to leverage that group buying power to get some discounts on some things. OK, virtually everybody that joins a Chamber of Commerce Trade Association somewhere in their kind of calculus is thinking about those things. And so uh, when it comes to benefits, the question becomes, how can we alleviate the Chamber of Commerce Trade Association of the burden of having to go out and find those deals? Right develop those deals, manage the relationships with those vendors and effectively communicate the value downstream to their members, right? How can we do that? And then the other part of that we had to really uh, consider was is when, when members buy things, right? They, they want a referral to a vendor, they want to buy from a vendor, that that process is to the greatest extent possible automated. And so that we've completely, effectively, completely alleviated the, the administrators of these organizations of the burden of having to do this. And at the same time, dramatically increased engagement with those products and services. And, and engagement really has two benefits, right? Is if I if I'm if I'm in a marketplace, which Concourse Benefits is, it's a it's a benefits marketplace. If I'm there as a member, I'm perceiving value. Now I may and I may not have leveraged it, I may not have taken advantage of it, but I can see that the organization has done a lot of work for me. 
um, but then I buy it. Okay. So then there's the, I'm deriving real meaningful value from, from, from my relationship with the Chamber of Trade Association. And the good thing about that is too, is that your trade association, your, your, your Chamber of Commerce is participating in these transactions. So it has the effect of not only generating non dues revenues, but also increasing retention and overall engagement across opportunities within your organization. Um, I think I addressed most of the question, maybe. Yeah, so, so so one example is, you know, some tools are uh, that are on the platform have like very good v pricing. Some of them are actually free for the chamber and for the associations. Right. Uh, and then the members get discounted rates. Those are business to business types of, of solutions. Um, and maybe if you want to pick one or two of them that you sure. kind of want to plug as a good example that could be valuable for a chamber. And then the ability for their members to also post member to member deals because some of the uh, businesses in your local community might desire to have a mechanism to inform the people that work in that region of what they offer. And they would like to extend something unique or different for the employees working in, in those communities. But talk about uh, one or two examples of, of, a, of a tool set or a solution that is pretty innovative and valuable for the, the chamber and might be useful also for members. Yeah, and I want to, I'll, I'll even, pre I remember now that you had asked about the, the, the three different kinds of offerings and, and, you know, we do have the chamber or ad or association facing offerings, right? So, you know, that's everything from technology to consulting services, right? Offered by different, you know, respected vendors in, in out there in the world. Uh, we, we, we negotiate deals with those vendors and your organization has access to those. Uh, so that's that's really important. Of course, on the member facing side, we have insurance and non-insurance. We broadly define non-insurance as everything that's not insurance. So it's uh, it's everything from the you know the 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 legal insurance or the um, uh, what's another one. It could be software like you know accounting oh, software, software, payroll right. services, the, the right. typical things. Recreational, educational, technological, right? Business services, all of those things that don't typically fall under insurance, right? Will be, will be available to your members. Um, to your point, uh, one of the things that makes uh, Concourse Benefits so different is it is the affinity network, which is something you actually coined, right? Which is so spot on. Um, when, you, when you typically join a platform that has perks or benefits or something, okay? probably the best it's going to do is it's going to aggregate them and it's going to put them on like a list. That's all it's going to do. Now, somebody's going to click that. They're going to go to a website. You're going to have no idea what happened to that lead, right? Where did that person go? Did they convert into a client of that, of that partner? You just don't know. So we solve that problem by managing the referrals process. In many cases, we actually directly manage the transactions, right? And then we manage the distribution and non dues revenues to your organization, either right there at checkout if they're buying there, or after the fact, after we've reconciled with the vendor, say on a monthly basis, but we get, we pay you directly. We deposit the money directly into your organization's account. Um, now, as far as the affinity side of it, right, we have a master marketplace. When your organization onboards uh, concourse benefits, you're able to go in there and see all of the benefits that are available, but you're able to turn off any, any benefits you don't want featured because maybe you think, uh, and maybe you're right, right? That there's one of your members that offers something similar and you don't want to run afoul of them. Right. That's that's one thing. So it's totally customizable. Um, but then you can do one better. You can actually look around your members and say, you know what, I like to have one of you know these members offerings featured as 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 benefits on the platform. And so you can identify them, invite them in. They can set their offerings up on the marketplace. And if they qualify, um, meaning that they have the capacity to scale their offering seems like it's going to appeal to people, you know, people broadly across geographic and professional communities, then we'll, we'll onboard them to the master marketplace. And that vendor from your community is now going to be uh, visible to all of the clients in, uh, in the concourse benefits network. And, and that's huge, right? Because you're not only helping that business get exposure across a, a massive network that they didn't have to build and they don't have to manage, but also your organization is going to be monetizing all of going to be monetizing that relationship. You're participating in the non dues revenues generated by that vendor across all of our clients. So I'm a small chamber, medium sized chamber. I want to implement this. 
what what should I expect from a, a commitment from time, money, resources? How how difficult is it for to onboard? Onboarding concourse benefits takes very little time. Okay, uh, should take no 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 more than maybe ten minutes. Um, there is no cost; it's completely free. Um, onboarding your members, you mentioned something about cracking the floor earlier, and I should have addressed that. I can address I can address that now. But you'll when when you join, you'll get a, a link that you can share with your members. Now your members can onboard the platform, but then when your members, your employers, onboard the platform, they're going to get a link they can share with their employees. Okay, so now the employers and the employees have a distinct and direct relationship with the concourse benefits platform. And this allows us to effectively communicate with them, right, without having without requiring that you are managing the communications. We're doing that on your behalf. Okay, so we're regularly engaging them. But so important is, is now all of those employees are connected into concourse benefits. And so they're connected into your organization. And technically, that's what it's called cracking the floors, getting below the employer into the employees and having them engaged. Not only are those employees now engaging and buying things from the marketplace um, and generating non dues revenues for your organization, it also compels retention on the part of the employer, but also now you're able to extend, you know, event ticket sales and other opportunities to those employees. So it's creating more opportunities for engagement by them, which is necessarily going to lead into not just non dues revenues, but dues revenues. Excellent. So before we wrap up the podcast, um, any forward looking, I know you're, you're always a, a future proofer and you're always looking forward for, for companies that on board uh, on our master uh, offerings list or chambers of commerce or associations or companies. If you look at the next 12 to 24 months, what kind of new things or things uh, that should th they could be expecting that are, is going to continue to add value in the entire ecosystem, not just from the single concourse single benefits, benefits module. module? Right. So I'll start with concourse benefits and say, you know, we are maturing a relationship with MetLife. We're the only organization right now outside of MetLife that is actually featuring their chambers plan. Um, that's a really powerful relationship offering some awesome value to, to, to especially small businesses. Uh, we've got a great partnership with a company called Nest Eggs that is a pooled employer plan. So we have the concourse pooled employer plan that we're offering downstream to our chambers and trade associations and their members, which means anybody has access to, access to a 401k employers are, uh, are, are, are not saddled with the liabilities and, and all of the administrative difficulties that are typically associated with doing that. Um, so those are some amazing partnerships at a high level we're developing there, but we're also also we're working on technological partners, other services partners. I mean, it's going to be a very, very robust platform. Now, in the next 12 to 24 months, um, your organization should be able to come into the concourse universe through just a single access point. OK, and when you sign up with concourse, you'll have access to everything. What does that mean? Not just concourse benefits. Uh, but um, the marketplace, right? If it's in the chamber context, it's called chamber market. If it's in another context, we'll call it something different. It's a wide label marketplace. Uh, Telenity hired by referral. Um, you'll have access to the association management tools that we have, which is you know dues management, member management, event management, all of that stuff. Um, there's frankly, there's not a lot that we don't offer that would typically pertain. And there's some things, of course, that we have that that are that are novel. And, and another one we're bringing online is called Attune, uh, which will supply each and every chamber. It sounds a bit ridiculous, uh, hyperbolic, but it's true. Each and every chamber, we've worked out a deal with some of the most high tech companies in the world. Um, retail price per organization would be about one hundred seventy thousand dollars a year we've gotten it down to fifteen hundred dollars a year for a chamber of commerce uh, to have access to having all of their legis all of the local legislative uh, media tract um, being able to interface with their members and derive feedback being able to communicate feedback regularly to legislators um, being able to run you know um, really powerful what they call thinkscape sessions through our partner unanimous ai so there's a lot of really really cool things coming but uh, i certainly think that concourse benefits is probably the the easiest, best place to start. It's free. It takes no time to get started. Immediately demonstrates value to your members. And of course, you know, ROI is ROI. 
Awesome. Yeah, I, I was I, I did participate in an, in one of the uh, sessions, the swarm intelligence session. And, and, and I think you're the one that uh, labeled it deliberative democracy tool and the ability to put the Chamber of Commerce in that community at the source point and share point and feedback point and back to the legislators. Uh, it's just going to be so powerful. It will be a tool yeah. that can I just, have an I just impact. Have to- I just have to say something about that because it's no matter what we're doing at concourse, we're always operating with the same mindset, which is how can we help these organizations work better together, be more powerful together? That's the question. And and how can we do that in a way that doesn't defend their individuality and their, their, their autonomy that actually enhances their individuality, enhances their organization. And when you think about from an advocacy perspective, virtually all chambers of commerce and trade associations are, are first and foremost advocacy organizations. So if we could give them the most powerful tools to be able to stay on top of information and drive feedback from members, uh, if we have a network of those organizations, right, working and looking out for their own interests, but as a network, um, doesn't that exercise a powerful influence over the decision making by legislators at municipal, county, federal and state, uh, state and federal tiers? And when you model it out, it, it, it necessarily does. And that's what we call that particular platform a tune is that it's, it's harmonizing a legislative action with constituent will. And frankly, there's no other organization on the planet like the Chamber of Commerce and being able to affect that kind of change. And that's pretty profound. So we're, we're, we're excited. Awesome. Any last comments, Boyd, that you uh, would like to share? Only that if you're a Chamber of Commerce, uh, you know, leader uh, or a trade association leader, we know um, a lot of you are stressed out. We know that you work hard. We know that you mean well and you're trying your very best for your your given geographic or professional community. Um, When you think of concourse, we want you to understand that we understand that and we built everything uh, with the idea of not only making your life easier, but actually making you feel more more empowered, helping you realize the vision you had of yourself when you originally took the role you did, right, of really being a big change maker. Awesome. If you would like to connect with Boyd, he's definitely a great resource to be connected with. I think LinkedIn is your favorite social media platform on the business side. It's about my only one, yeah. Excellent. Uh, Boyd, thank you so much for being an awesome partner in this whole equation. And I am grateful to have to be working with you and just look forward every day on the new things that are coming up. Uh, so, so super grateful to have you uh, as part of our awesome team. Likewise, brother. Thanks so much.